Hello Ray, how you doing? Quick listen for Ray everybody, beginner guy, so all you advanced guys who watch my guitar stuff, you know, if you're a beginner, that's great. Alright Ray, here we are, this is um, starting to break down your song, very quick video this one. Um, so, chords you've already got is E minor, well let's give you some tuning notes first, tuning notes is like, so you can play along, is your E, A. D, G, B, E, there you go, alright, so we're going to break down this song you want to do, uh, into small bits, so you get that bit and then you can move on later on, we can move to the next bit and then we'll put it all together, so make life easy, you know, small little bits, slowly, slowly, you know, it comes to, it comes to life, here we are, so the first is the E minor chord, you know that, we've already done that, So you've got to get, move your little finger around here. So you're going to need, for this part, you're going to need your E minor chord. You need E minor 7. So that's your E minor chord with your little finger on that D note there, which is the uh, second string on the third fret. You'll need that. And you'll need a, a variation of your D chord as well, which is your D chord here. But just take the middle finger off. So you've got those, just those two on. So that's, that's about all the chords you're going to need for it. And then the rest of it is messing about with your little finger. And then there's a the little slide thing as well. So I'll get you that first. So let's do the, the intro. Mm -hmm. And it sounds more complicated than it is, in my opinion. So it's just an E minor. So you hit that downwards. Then you hit this this. G note, which is your third fret on your E string there. And it's the A note of that fifth string open. And then the D without the little middle finger. From the fourth, you've played that from the fourth string downwards. And you, you can strum there. And then you've you play your top note, your top your top E string that's ringing open. Then you've got that, you, so you put the top note, and then the D string, and then while it's still ringing underneath, you slide the D string, this this one here, this D note, sorry, up to E, so you've got a double E ringing, up to the fifth fret. So that's. So do that again, that's E, E minor. You play that one, that G note here. Then you all off as, you, as you're changing your hand, so this would naturally happen as you change your fingers to the next chord, your fingers will come off, and as you're going down there, you're playing that A note, and you play the D note here, D strum, and then back it all off, and then go back to, to end it, resolve it, I think they call it. Um, you play backwards, coming upwards with the pick across the E minor chord. So it's and this is where the E minor seven comes in. This is just for this last bit, I'll give you this bit. It's a strum. You put this, that seventh note on, which is the D on the second string or third fret, and off. Leave it there, mate, just to do a little bit for you there. So, hopefully, have a try at that. See how you get on, mate. Let me know how you get on. I've got something for you as well. So, contact uh, her in the doors and we'll make contact somehow. Alright, I'm going to leave it there for now. I'll just give you a little bit at a time. 
Um, it's not hard, you will catch this quite easily. So take some time to practice. Thanks for watching, and as always, be lucky.